as you probably should know, or if you if you knew already, um, there's this new thing on TikTok that happened last week, I think, and and the week and probably the week before that, which kind of blew up. It's called the Super Straight Movement, which is created by this TikToker, Kyle Royce. And uh, I watched a couple of YouTube videos about it too. Also, a few days after that, I went to Twitter and some people have claimed that, that this trend was created by 4chan, which of course, it had to be debunked, which is why I'm making this video because I am going to debunk someone's claim that it was created by 4chan. This Twitter user, whose name is David Paisley, who I guess is some guy who is a Scottish actor, director, musician, some of which currently playing White Murdoch in River City on BBC Scotland. He claims that Super Straight was a far-right troll campaign created by 4chan to get you associated with Nazism. Slow hand clap. But then this person whose name is Chulo on Twitter corrects him, corrects him because well, when I originally got to his TikTok account, you know, that original, that original video uh, was there before uh, Kyle Royce got take, taken it down because according to Kyle Royce, which I'll show you the YouTube video in a moment, he claims in there that uh, he took it down because people were sending his mom death threats and, you know, it wasn't looking too good. And when he tried posting an update to, uh, to TikTok as to why he created the movement, people on TikTok decided that they wanted to report his account just because, you know, he probably was joking around. So anyway, Trill says, it didn't start in 4chan, but they did appropriate it. Super Straight was created by TikToker Kyle Royce on February 21st. And by going to these replies, David Paisley says, did you read my post? Seems not. Can you point to where I say the term originally originated on 4chan? The fact it's been popularized by trolls on Reddit and 4chan and gone viral, viral in the last three hours after a week of promoting it is the point. You literally said campaign for point 4chan, which indicates that you think it was it originates there. If you meant something else by that statement, it was very disingenuous way of conveying that information. And I have to agree, because it did not originate in Fortune. And then David Paisley created the tweet, which shows a screenshot of this tweet that explains it all that I have to read to you. What is Super Street? There is a new sexuality that means that you are only attracted to cisgender women or men. This was made due to an influx of people saying that you aren't straight if you aren't attracted to trans women slash men. We are part of the LGBTQ plus now. Hashtag super straight. For those not know, LGBS is, is an attempt by gender criticals to remove the T from LGBT and add straight people instead. Spring people are so incredibly heterosexual they can't possibly be cis people. It's 
and then he tweets this again that by saying so it seems to be a psyop from far right 4chan trolls which gender criticals have left right up which again it's not created by 4chan and it's not from 4chan either it's not created by them it was originated back in February by Kyle Royce before his TikToks got taken down and then he continues on with this tweet again for all the gender criticals he left up on the board of super straight chain it's a trolling campaign for 4 chan to get you to align nazis took five minutes and google to get a grip which 4chan did not create it super straight kyle royce was the one who created super straight before 4chan before 4chan found out about it on on the day he posted this. This person tweeted, remembered this, that the super straight hashtag is an anti-trans OP. It was birthed several days ago by, from 4chan and Kiwi Farms, both notorious, noxtorious holes of anti-trans and dis info if you see it, don't get confused. It's the same anti-trans bullshit the far right constantly pushes. And I have to correct anti-fash Gordon on this one because Super Streak was not birthed several days ago from 4chan and Kiwi Farms. Both of them had nothing to do with it. They heard about it when Kyle Royce, a TikToker originally, announced it in February before his videos got taken down by people who mass reported his TikTok account. Mentioning this because I'm seeing the usage of the hashtag coming from account masquerading as like this. These are young accounts to fully created in the last few months, but the move to mainstream anti-trans in leftist circles is the worrying one. Which again, it is not created by 4chan and QE Farms. It is created by this guy, who is a TikTok talker. If you watched the videos, you would have known better. I mean, come on, lots of people have Lots of people who uh, joined this movement have to correct you on this one too. This non-discriminative movement was not started by 4chan. Have you not learned anything from the OK Hand incident? Have they will try to turn anything into hate symbol? Not only is this actually incorrect, it also does great great harm to me and my community. Super straight, hashtag super straight pride, no hate. See, this guy can confirm it too. It actually started last week on TikTok by a 16-year-old boy. The four chantros did not start it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why people are only thinking that 4chan started this whole day. They should have done the research. I mean, this is just embarrassing for some people who can't even do their own research. Finding out who actually started this movement. It's not from either of sites that started on TikTok last month, about a week before the Trekkie posted an image of. 21st of February, original post. It was not hard to find this. And that is the post that has now been deleted or removed by Kyle Royce because, uh, well, let's just say that he got a lot of death threats. Again, I have to mention that he got a lot of death threats, so he had to take it down. The Super Straight account tweeted this. This is a lie to discredit our movement. This originally native on TikTok and some 4chan trolls saw it as an opportunity to push their 
Nazi agenda. All right, so I'm going to link this video in the description below, which is what I'm going to be showing you now because I have it recorded the day before. Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Super Straight, okay? Okay, I've been tagged in this video quite a few times, so let's go. I'm sure most of y'all by now have seen that video. Basically, he's saying that he's tired of being labeled a transphobe for not seeing trans women as, quote, real women. He said, oh, you know what? I cracked the code. Let me make up a new sexuality called Super Straight. So you can't call me transphobic for not seeing trans women as real women, uh, because it's just my sexuality. Of course, that video has like 5 million views, hundreds of thousands of legs people are really getting into it so into it in fact that they made their own flag he thinks this is revolutionary like this is now a movement apparently for straight i call it super insecure super lacking the ability to introspect it's honestly just sad that at this point people are so reluctant to reflect upon their implicit biases and their prejudices this point is just embarrassing you want so badly to not be labeled a transphobe that you'll run circles around the issue instead of just addressing it head on so i'm sure y'all have seen this video by now the super straight thing yeah so many people have tagged me in this video and i was wondering why no one else had responded to it then i realized it's because tiktok won't let us i posted this video three times now it's been 13 hours since the first time i posted it and it still has zero views then i did some further digging that video has over 5 million views they've now created a flag like this is now a movement apparently so then i went to go see who else stitched the video i said surely other people are talking about this no, there's a few stitches here and there with minimal views and only consisting of people who agree with him. Are we surprised though? Because TikTok thrives off of transphobia, homophobia, racism, misogyny, etc. All I said in my response was that it's honestly embarrassing that so many people lack the emotional maturity and intelligence to just introspect and reflect upon their prejudices and biases. So they make up a whole new sexuality to protect their transphobia and TikTok is protecting it with their lives. Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Super Straight, okay? Okay, I'm still a lesbian, and you're still transphobic. Doesn't matter if you call it a sexuality, it is what it is. You're a transphobe. Deal with it. I get called transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman. You know, they're like, would you date a trans- Nah, you're not super straight. You're a super jerk. Trans women are women. If the only reason you're not dating a trans woman is because she's trans, then you are transphobic. I might get a lot of hate for this, but I'm gonna tell you guys something that I saw. So check this out. Black and orange. Black and orange. Black and orange. This man right here is the founder of it. I support that movement. Wanna know why? This movement is called the Super Straight. The reason for that is a lot of y'all, a lot of you guys been hating on the super straight people saying that if we don't like to date a trans person, you are transphobic or something like that. It's funny how like those people who want to do all that stuff are the same people who are hating on the straight people. So the straight people decided to have something on their own. It's called the super straight, black and orange. BNO baby, we're not just straight, we're super straight. Since y'all want to make the rules, we making the same rules with your regulations. So who is on the super straight team? We just trying to fit in. Don't be hating on us because we different. So by that logic, you're attracted to trans men. I don't know, man. Seems kind of gay. <laughs> I haven't gotten like any hate comments in a while, so I'm happy, bro. This man is referring to the super straight logic. First of all, I'm attracted to females who were born females, basically females with the XX chromosome. If someone identifies as a trans man, it doesn't make them a real man, bro. And you're using seems kinda gay as an insult. I don't know, man. It seems kinda homophobic to me. I mean, that's very hypocritical of you. <laughs> I'm black. Yo, guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Super Straight, okay? Since straight people or straight men is myself, I get called transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman. You know, they're like, would you date a trans woman? I'm like, no, why? That's a female. Uh, no, like, that's not a real woman to me. Like, I want a real woman. No, you're just transphobic. So now, I'm super straight. I only date the opposite gender, women, that are born women. So you can't say I'm transphobic now because that's just my sexuality.
you know? You know, guys, so as most of you know, I'm the original creator of the Super Straight Movement. The original video was privated, but it has been taken down by TikTok now. And with the extreme amount of hate and threats sent to me, my family, and friends, I decided to make an explanation video. Super Straight was never created to be hateful towards anyone, especially trans people. I created it because I was tired of getting mislabeled with extremely negative terms for having my own opinions and preferences. Having a different opinion doesn't equal hate. Regardless of my personal opinion or beliefs, I have nothing but respect for the LGBTQ community. I do not condone or associate with anybody who's using the term to hate or belittle others. Bottom line of the movement is I think everyone should be able to express their opinion and sexuality freely without being hated or negatively labeled. You don't have to agree with someone doesn't mean they're being hateful, there just has to be a mutual respect between the two. Because at the end of the day, I can't control who I'm attracted to or how my personal boundaries feel. If people want to express these things, let them. It doesn't mean they're being hateful. Don't use super straight to spread hate. The super straight motto is you do you, love and respect everybody else. Now, here's what we all learned about Super Street. One, it was originally created by Kai Royce on TikTok on February 21st. Two, it was not created by 4chan Choros. Three, it was not created by neo-Nazis. Four, the Super Street flag was used as colors from either Grinder or Power and Hub. And now I'll give you my opinion on this. So when I first heard about it a few days ago, I I thought to myself when I watched a few videos about it, I would have I then thought that it was transphobic but looking at it now with more detail super straight is kind of not transphobic because well let me explain more then because in my opinion what Kyle Royce was actually trying to say is that he wants to date someone who is not the opposite of straight. You know, that's not a bad thing. This is what he prefers if Kyle Royce or anyone else wants to date a super straight person then they can date a super straight person if they don't wanna if they don't wanna date a trans person that is not considered to be transphobic Kyle Royce is super straight because he only prefers the opposite sex and there's nothing wrong with the opposite sex even though the same sex marriage is now has been like a, you know signed by President Barack Obama back in 2012 or 2013 I forgot which year it was but that doesn't mean that, that nobody can date a trans person if a straight person wants to date a trans person that's fine if a transgender person wants to date a straight person that's fine too if, but if a super straight person does not want to date a trans person or or lesbian or a gay person, that is fine. That is fine. That is really fine. That is their preference. Just like it is your preference to, when you, for example, are dating the same sex. If you're gay and you're dating the same sex, then you go ahead. You date the same sex. If you don't want to, if you're a gay person and you don't want to date a straight person, that is your preference. So there's no need for for the LGBTQ community to go and attack the super straight community. The super straight community 
does not deserve to be to be attacked for their preference. And if you call them out for being transphobic because they don't want to date a trans person, then uh, you're part of the problem, unfortunately. And that is why Kyle Royce created Super Straight. And so therefore, like, again, Super Straight is not created by neo-Nazis or 4chan. It's created by a TikToker who prefers to date someone who wants to date the opposite sex. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with dating the same sex or the opposite sex. There's no reason for the LGBTQ community to go and attack somebody who prefers to date the opposite sex. It's just not right. After watching Kyle Royce, Royce's YouTube video, I understand his point of view. And that's something you guys should understand as well. Because at the end of the day, we all breathe the same air on the same planet. And we're born on the same planet. There is no reason to go and attack somebody for not wanting to date a trans person. Okay? It is not transphobic to not date a trans person. Okay? That's what everyone prefers. If you're super straight, you prefer to date someone with the opposite sex. And I respect that. And if you're trans, and if you prefer to date someone who is like, someone who is like straight, then go for it. That's your preference too. Like, there's no reason for the LGBTQ community, again, to, to go and attack somebody for not wanting to date a transgender. And the fact that Kyle Royce's TikTok, TikTok account has been uh, false, false plagued by many people who are out to get him for no reason. They should be ashamed of themselves for that. I mean, I saw that his TikTok account was taken down because of all this huge mess. And I am not okay with deplatforming somebody who's just, you know, having their own preference. And explaining this side of the story. But since neither y'all wanted to listen until now, there you go. I brought it up to you so you can learn. Please, don't ever gather the LGBTQ community to de-platform somebody who has their own preference. If Kyle Royce, who created the Super Straight Moon, wants to have his own preference, you should not take him down for having his own opinion. Okay? That is censorship. I do not support censorship, and I don't take it lightly either. Other than that, the super straight movement is also a meme, like, it's a meme on TikTok, and, uh, I think the LGBTQ community has taken a bit too far by trying to take down people's accounts just because they want to embrace the meme. Like, seriously, you guys gotta chill. Control your movement and leave the super straight movement alone. Let them have their preference, and you have yours. 50-50 split, huh? Can we both agree to, to respect each other? Can we please do that? Can we please both agree? If you can't agree to that, then why are you here? Why? 
Let's try to be inclusive, please. We got plenty of time for that.